we have a state government which thinks that the city is not uh, capable of governing itself in many different areas, then that's a problem that the next, next mayor has to address and turn that around because if we don't believe in ourselves here, you can't expect other people to believe in Philadelphia, come to Philadelphia to invest their money here, which is going to create jobs, which hopefully will then stop the violence that's going on and provide the type of revenue that we need in order to reduce the business privilege tax. Now, I think that that job issue is absolutely key, and, uh, and, and that gets to the tax system that we have in the city, that we have been taxing the city into a crisis that has caused jobs to leave the city. We have to change the taxes around. We have to have a mayor who's not going to hide behind mm -hmm. an unbalanced budget scare and say, I'm going to change this policy so that it is, is possible for employers to invest in the city and to create a job base that works for all Philadelphians. I certainly couldn't disagree with the need for jobs. The solution of reducing taxes to bring businesses makes a lot of sense, but I wonder how then we support the infrastructure and we support all these needs that we're talking about while losing some of our tax base. So that's just something I've wondered for some time in terms of how you reconcile that. What I would like to see is serious attention to an economic policy that says, how can we tie tax policy to job growth that creates stable or increased revenue to the city? And I believe that, that smart people, which is happens not to be my field, but uh, as, as a planner, I can say that, that smart people would be able to do that. You know, it needs a plan, it needs a vision, it needs focus on the kind of things that we can grow with, we can increase the tax base with, we can give some tax relief to smaller businesses that we wish to grow in our community and accomplish that over a number of years. Mm -hmm.